Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I am finally back from my honeymoon. I'm gonna do a whole video on my my wedding, my both my legal wedding as well as my like big wedding reception and ceremony um, that I did two weeks ago now. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple videos on my honeymoon too because we went to some really, really cool places that are very like gothy and horror oriented in Europe and I really wanna talk about those, but that is all gonna be for later. Yes, I did cut my hair and it's really unruly today because we literally got off the flight like 12 hours ago, went to sleep, woke up, and here I am. But I came home and I had a bunch of packages, so I'm gonna try and work through all of them. But I wanted to make sure I got this one up first. It is enormous, and I'm fairly certain this is the Twisted Retreat Limited Edition um, box. It was like zombie apocalypse theme. Forget what it was actually called. I don't even remember how much it cost me. I think it was like $85 or something like that. It might have been more, it might have been closer to 100 I ordered it so long ago and it is finally here, right in time for Halloween. It did have a little bit of a delay, um, but I actually got it sooner than when it's going up because it showed up while I was away in Europe. But without further ado, let's open this up. This is the first ever limited edition box from Twisted Retreat. That company is known for doing horror book boxes. You get a limited edition um, horror release with a lot of goodies that go alongside of it. Usually um, horror fandoms or general like gothic tone horror themed items. They're owned by Unplug, which is one of my favorite book box companies, and their limited edition boxes are always so much fun, especially their Halloween boxes. Their Halloween boxes were so popular that they made Twisted Retreat because of it. So I'm really excited to see what we have in here. So let's open her up because she is huge. Okay, we have so much stuff in here. This might be the biggest box I've ever gotten from Unplugged or Twisted Retreat. There is so much stuff in here. Okay, so first up we get the Twisted Retreat Survival Box Special Edition. Um, it's got our spoiler card and everything. And instead of being done like a newspaper like they do with their usual spoiler cards, it looks like a survival kit checklist. I don't wanna go through it yet. I wanna make sure that we get through the items first, but I see Jigsaw right on top. So let's see. Okay, so we have Jigsaw here and it says, do you want to play a game? So maybe this is a game. Let's see, how do I open this? Oh, it opens in the front. Okay, so we open her and I don't know what this is. There's like a lot of little tools and stuff in here. Maybe this is some kind of like survival kit. Oh, I think it is, right? This is a little flashlight. I think so we have a little flashlight here um I'm not sure what this is this looks like a bottle opener and then I don't have any idea what this is we have a compass a legit compass I don't think I've ever owned one of those a pocket knife oh my goodness I think this is a whistle. I have neighbors and I live in an apartment, so I'm not gonna blow it, but I'm pretty sure this is a whistle. Um, another type of like little uh, mini light thing. I think I have one of those on my keychains already. Is this a pen? Yes, we get a pen. And I think this can also break open a car window if I recall correctly. We get stickers, and then in here we have uh, like this stainless steel kind of tool. Okay, so it says this is a multi purpose pocket survival tool. It's a can opener, knife edge, screwdriver, ruler, can opener, four position wrench, butterfly wrench, saw blade, direct ancillary indication, two position wrench, and a lanyard hole, key ring hole. Oh my god. Okay, so this is a full survival kit. Um, that is insane, and this is so cool. I've never had anything like this before. I'm gonna, ha I hope it describes what everything is inside of here because I don't think I'm gonna actually know what everything is. But this is really, really cool and so practical. And then everything fits right back in. It is really secure. 
So there's that. Oops, and I didn't put this in there, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. So then we get this, which looks like a mug, a vacuum insulated mug. Oh, it has a lid. I love when they have lids. Okay, and it says living life one undead day at a time, and it has some zombies here, and then it has a little bucket list of the dead. Um, so I am not the biggest fan of always getting cups. Uh, I feel like I have a lot of these, and I don't love this design, but I do love that this one comes with a lid, which to me makes it a little bit more practical as like an outdoor mug, because I feel like typically when you see a mug like this, that's what they're for. Okay, so we have this. Oh, things are falling out. Okay. Oh, so now we have a giant flashlight, and it says Property of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and it does come with a battery. That's super useful. As well as a charger. Now, I don't know what I was expecting when they announced this list, uh, or this list, this, um, this box, but I really like how they're really doubling down on the practicality of an actual survival box. Oh my god, okay, we have another kit thing. It says Health Kit from The Last of Us. I loved The Last of Us. Such a good show. Oh my god, it's an actual health kit. This is awesome. Has an emergency blanket, gauze, band-aids. Oh my god. A thermometer. This is insane, you guys. This is legitimately a health kit. That's so cool. Okay, so then we have this, this is an Umbrella Academy themed item. It's a cool towel. I don't know what that is, but the towel comes out of here and I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get it back in, so I'm not going to pull it out. I don't think it has any design on it, but there we go. This is so crazy. This is literally like a legit zombie apocalypse emergency kit. I, I love this box so far. Okay, what is this? This is another kind of knifey knife tool. I think it has a little, what looks like a knife and a compass. And oh, I think it's actually a like compass watch. And then it has what looks like a utility knife on it. Super cool, super practical. Okay, hold on, we have this little thing here. Uh, this, is this one of the things that you go like rock climbing with? I think it is, right? The ballet or whatnot. Oh, and it's got a knife. We have a lot of knives in this. I was not expecting so many knives. Oh, and now I don't know how to close it. Oh, it's got a screwdriver in it. That's awesome. I just don't know how to close it now that it's been opened. Okay, then we have this big box here. You know what, since it's open, I'll use this knife to open it. Oh, is this a wok? Oh my goodness, it's like to have a campfire on and it says, whenever feasible, one should always try to eat the rude. That's funny. And yeah, this is like a literal like outdoor campfire style bowl that's really cool it's really well made so it's really sturdy and heavy i don't really want to take this plastic off because i don't want it to get like damaged until i figure out where to put it but yes very cool there's still so much more stuff okay this is the book so the book i'm going to put to the end okay i think this is our shirt everybody got to choose a size for their shirt Okay, and it says, I survived a horror story, and we get ghost face. Very, very cute. I love this. I love ghost face. I'm so happy that the shirt they went with was ghost face. This is so fun. Um, definitely, it's a really nice kind of, like, jersey material. This does kind of feel, like, screen, not, like, nicely printed on. Like, I'd be scared to put this in a dryer. But for the first shirt from this company ever, like... This is really fun, especially since it's like, you know, Halloween season right now. Okay, and I think this is the last item. Oh my god, and it is like a full-on zombie apocalypse backpack. 
And it says survive. It says day one of exposure, three infection, eight epidemics, 15 evacuation, 20 devastation from 28 days later. This is so cool. We have so many pockets. I'm honestly probably going to store everything from this box in here because there's just so much. Just so, I can't really, I don't think it'll really show on camera, but the whole thing is just divided into all these different pockets. You have like space for your water bottle, the space to pull the straps out. I mean, this is just awesome and it feels waterproof for sure. So that is that. Oh my goodness, guys, this is insane. Okay, so let's go through the book. Okay, so our book is called Never Est by T.L. Bodine never heard of this before the inside you get this cool mountain you have that on both sides we do have this nice stenciled edging here and then if we take the flap off we get the mountain the name the name and our author footprints in the snow and an interior cover and an interior cover. I love this. That's very pretty. So let's see what this is about. One year ago, Sean Miller, journalist and mountain climbing enthusiast, reached the summit of Mount Everest and was never seen again. Unable to move on without knowing the truth of what happened, his widow Carrie insists on an expedition to search for Sean's body so it can be properly laid to rest. Tom, Sean's best friend and former climbing partner, agrees to serve as expedition guide and promises to keep Carrie safe on the mountain, despite their complicated relationship history. Guided by a travel journal left behind by her husband, Carrie ventures into the frozen open-air graveyard of the world's tallest peak. But as Sean's diary and Carrie's experiences reveal, climbing the mountain is more than a test of endurance. It's a bottle of wills with an ancient and hostile force protecting the mountain. And the dead do not rest easy at the summit. Neverest is a survival thriller with a hint of supernatural that will appeal to the fans of Allie Wilkes' All the White Spaces and Amy McCulloch's uh, Breathless. I don't know those. Anyway, that sounds great. I don't think I like this cover, but I really, really love this. This is such a moment. Um, and I love how it kind of like connects with this. I mean, it doesn't really, but I think like, it's really cool. Um, but yes, I think this is a really fun book. I think it's very appropriate for this box. Let's go through the spoiler card because I'm really freaking out about how cool all of this is. This says that we have, uh, welcome to the ultimate survival experience with the Twisted Times Survival Edition box from the Twisted Retreat. We meticulously curated each item to prepare you for anything and everything that comes your way. Gear up and stay vigilant and let's dive into your arsenal of essentials. So we get the Buffy flashlight, which is a candle alternative. Uh, we get the saw camping toolkit, the battle royale bracelet, which is a wearable art inspired by the manga and movie designed to stand the test of time, guaranteed not to explode. It's a tribute to survival prowess. So that is what this compass bracelet is. We get the Hannibal Cauldron camping pot, uh, the Zom 100 campfire mug, the Resident Evil towel or shirt carrying case. Did I? Oh, I said Umbrella Academy because I just saw the umbrella, but this is Resident Evil. I'm a moron. <laughs> My bad, guys. 28 Days Later Essential Gear Pack, the Scream t-shirt, Purge-inspired uh, Carabinder, which I guess is this thing. Um, I don't know how to close it, though. I'm going to figure that out in a second. The Last of Us-inspired First Aid Kit, and the special edition book Never, uh, Never Est by T.L. Bodine. This is awesome. I really thought this was just going to be like all zombie inspired things, but the fact that every single item in here is extremely practical in creating your own zombie survival guide kit is amazing. I live in a big city. This is literally going into a backpack and it's going to like be our like prepared for the apocalypse event. This is so freaking cool. I am so happy with this. Um, before I finish up though, I, um, I also received this other box in the mail from Twisted Retreat. I'm going to open it now. I'm assuming it's, um, the missing item from one of my later boxes, from one of my August or September boxes. Um, cause I know they had all these delays. Otherwise, I don't know what it is and I didn't know where else to put it in a video. So it says Spectral Dust Twisted Retreat Flower Apothecary. Okay, so this is the flat. Oh, this is from August, I believe. This is the um, flower jar we were supposed to get from our August Twisted Retreat box. I'm still waiting, I think, on the September missing item. 
but this is very cool. It isn't broken. Um, we actually really need this in my house because our flower just sits in a bag, which is kind of gross, I think, but I'm very, this is cute. Um, and very, very practical. Happy it's finally here. <laughs> it just took two months, but it arrived. Anyways, I am so thrilled with this package. This is so intelligent. This is so well done. This is so unique, so practical. I am obsessed with this. Um, so yeah, really stoked. Totally think this was worth the price point. I mean, this is so heavy and just feels insane. Like, I love this. Anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. So pleased with this box. Um, can't wait to like actually have a zombie survival kit ready to go. Or like, you know, I need kind of disaster, but let's zombies. <laughs> um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I try to post every Monday and Thursday, sometimes on Saturdays. And if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below, and I will catch you on the next one. Mwah.